Ευλογητό ο Θεό ημών πάντοτε νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Δόξα σε Χριστέ ο Θεό, επίσημο δόξα σε. Βασιλεύ Κοράνια, παράξετε το πνεύμα τη αληθεία σου πανταχού παρών και τα πάντα πληρών. Ο θησαυρό των αγαθών και ζωή χορηγό εφέ και σκύνο σαν εν ημί και καθάρισε ο ημά από πάνση κυλίδο. Και σώσον αγαθέτα σου ηχά ημών. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Aios Theos, Aios Ischiros, Aios Athanatos, Eleis Onimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Kirileison, 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 Kirileison. O come, let us worship and bow down to God, our King. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ Himself, our King and God. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell in, with you. The boast shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward the holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight from my face, straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue, pronounce them guilty. O God, let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you surround him as with a shield. <clears throat> Why do the nations rage and the people plot in a vain thing? The king of the earth set themselves and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bonds in peace and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today I have, got, I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possessions. You shall break with them a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun lest he be angry and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are those who put their trust in him. O God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning. Oh my God, I cried in the daytime, but you do not hear, and in the night season, and I am not silent. But you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and delivered, they trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. But I am a worm and no man. I repro a reproach of men and despised by the people. All those who see me ridicule me. They sh shoot out the lip. They shake the head saying, he trusted in the Lord, let him rescue him. Let him deliver him since he delights in him. 
but you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while on my mother's breast I was, I was cast upon, uh, upon you from birth. From my mother's womb you have, cried, you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near and there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me, many bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They gape at me with their mouths like a raging and roaring lion. I am proud, I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it has melted within me. My strength has dried up like a pot shred and my tongue clings to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of, of death for dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I, I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far from me. O my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All, the, all you descendants of Jacob, glorify him and fear all your off, you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face away from him. But when he cried to him, he heard. My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. All the, prosper, all the prosperous of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him even he who cannot keep himself alive. A, 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 posterity, a, a posterity shall serve him. It will be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people who will be born that he has done this. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. I mean, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Kyrie eleison, kyrie eleison, kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When you, O Christ, were crucified, the tyranny was abolished, and the power of the adversary was trampled. For it was neither an angel nor man who saved us, but you, yourself, the Lord. Glory to you. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages, I mean, what name can we possibly give you, O full of grace? Heaven, that you, that you gave rise to the Son of Righteousness, Paradise, that you brought forth the flower of incorruption, virgin, that you remained inviolate, pure mother, that you held in your hand the embrace of the Son and God of all, and, and, tre and treat him that he may save our souls. <laughs> Και τα σιδεία σακτίνα ο ήλιο κρύπτει. Δε σπότι νόρων σταυρωμένων. Why do the Gentiles rage and the people imagine vain things? Like a sheep you have been led to slaughter, O Christ King. And like a godless lamb, O King of all. You were nailed on the cross by lawless men for our sins, O lover of mankind. <laughs> Κύριε, ή και πατάξατε τον ποιμένα, 
και διασκορπίσετε τα δώδεκα πρόβατα του σμάθη κάσμου. Η δυνάμη πλήγωση η δώδεκα λέγοντας παραστήνε αγγέλων αλλά μακροθήμων ή να πληρωθεί ο εδήλωσα ημίν διά των προφητών μου άδειλα και κρύφια Κύριε δόξασή. He went out and spoke to the multitudes, blesses he was concerned for the needy and the poor. The reading is from the prophecy of Zechariah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. And I took my rod that was grace, and I broke it, and I annulled the covenant, and I had made with all the peoples, so it was annulled on that day. And the traffic, traffickers in the sheep who were watching me knew it was the word of the Lord. Then I said to them, if it seems right to you, give me my wages, but if not, keep them. And they weighed out as my wages 30 shekels of silver. Then the Lord said to me, cast into the treasury the lordly price at which I was paid off by them. So I took the 30 shekels of silver and cast them into the treasury in the house of the Lord. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Galatians. Let us be attentive wisdom, let us be attentive. But God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and to the world. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but a new creation. And as many as walk according to, his, to this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. For now, from now on, let no one trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with your spirit. Amen. Peace be unto you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. The Holy Gospel reading is according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pilate the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that he was condemned, he repented and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priest, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. So they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him on whom a price had been sent by some of the sons of Israel. And they gave them for the potter's field as the Lord directed me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. And then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor wondered greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that he was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting in the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. 
The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And he said, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released from them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him and played a crown of thorns. They put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat upon him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, this man they compelled to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Gogotha, which means a place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers who were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left, and those who passed it by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the, with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel, let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God, let God deliver him now if he desires him, for he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, this man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised and coming out of the tombs, after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. There were also many women there, looking on from afar, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Direct my steps according to your work, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusations of men, and I shall keep your co commandments. Manifest your countenance to your servant, and teach me your statutes. Let my mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, that I may sing hymns of glory and your majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your namesake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary behold, beheld him on the, word, on the wood and said, Even though you endure the cross, you are my son and my God. Kirileson, 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 Kirileson. The one who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, is worshiped and glorified, Christ our God, the long suffering, plenteous in, in mercy and full of compassion, who loves the righteous and is merciful to sinners, calling all to salvation through the promise of the blessings to come. Receive our supplication in this present hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aside our minds, cleanse our thoughts and deliver us from all affliction, evil and distress. Surround us with your holy angels that guided and guarded by their interposition, we may attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Kirileson, 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 Kirileson. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and incomparably more glorious than seraphim, who without defilement for God the word, verily the Theotokos, you we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and be merciful to us. O Christ, the true light which illumines and sanctifies every man who comes into the world, let the light of your countenance leave its mark on us, that in it we may behold the ineffable light and direct our steps aright to the keeping of your commandments, to the intercessions of your all-pure Mother and of all of your saints. Amen. Agios o Theos, Agios o Chiros, Agios o Thanos, Eleus o Dimas, Holy God, Holy Mary, Holy Moral, have mercy on us. Agios o Theos, Agios o Chiros, Agios o Thanos, Eleus o Dimas, Doxa Patrici, O Kyo Pneumati, Kerin, Kyo Eichus, Kyo Onas, Tone On, Amin, Panagia Trias, Eleus o Dimas, Kyrie Las, Martia Simon, Despotas, Ichoris, Otas, Anamia Simin, Άγιε επίσκεψε και η Αγία Ζεστινία Σιμών, ένα και νοματό σου, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον. Δόξα πατρίκη, και ο κύριο Πνεύματι, και ειρήνη και έχει στου αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. Πάτερ ημών, ο ένι ουρανή, έχει στο δωμά σου, έρθατε βασιλεία σου. Γίνει θεωρή μα ο ουρανό και από τι γη των άρτων ημών των επίουσιων δόσημων σήμερων. Και άβεση μην τα φύμπτα ημών, ω και μισα φύμπτα ημών, ω και μισα φύμπτα ημών. Και μη συνέχιση μα πειρασμών, αλλά ρίση μα από το πονηρού. Ότι σου έστειν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο. Νην και αή και στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν, κύριε Λέισον, 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 κύριε Λέισον. Δόξα πατρίκη, ο κύριο πνεύματι, και νην και αή στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Δεύτερο προσκυνήσουμε και προσπέσουμε τον Βασιλή μου Θεό. Ο come, let us worship and bow down to Christ our King and God. Δεύτερο προσκυνήσουμε και προσπέσουμε τον Αυτό Χριστό τον Βασιλή και Θεό ημών. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buffler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those we put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let, th let them be like chaff before the wind and th let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for my, me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon them unexpectedly expectantly, and let this net which is, has hidden catch himself. Into that destruction let him fall, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is it like you, who delivering the poor from him, who is too strong for him, yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. Fierce witness rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. 
They reward me with evil good, with me with evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, they were they were sick. That my clothing was a sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. I paced about as though he, we, he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversary, they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feast, they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions, my precious life from, my, from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among my people, many people. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongly, wrongfully my enemies, nor let them wink with the eye who hate me without a cause, for they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against the quiet ones in the land. They also open their mouths wide against me and say, Aha, ha, our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord. Do not keep silence, O Lord. Do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, uh, so we would have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion. Who rejoice at my hurt, let them be clothed with the shame and dishonor and exalt themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause, and let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Do not keep silent, O God, of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful has opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. In return for my love, they are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. Thus they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set the wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be, become fewer and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also from their desolate places. Let the creditor seize all that he has and let strangers plunder his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy to him nor let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off and in the generation following let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his father be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be continually before the Lord, that he may cut off the, the memory of them from the earth, because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecution, the poor, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come to him, and as he did not delight in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he, be, as he clothed himself with cursing and with his garments, so let, it be, so, let, so let it enter his body like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him like a garment which covers him and for a belt with which he grids himself continually. Let this be the Lord's reward to my accusers and to those who speak evil against my person. But you, O Lord, you, you O God, the Lord, deal with me for your namesake because your mercy is good. Deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like a shadow when it lengthens. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh is feeble from lack of fatness. I also have become a reproach to them. When they look at me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. O oh, save me according to your mercy, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you bless. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let your servant rejoice. Let my accusers be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own disgrace as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yes, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those who condemn him. 
Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you are found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought, in, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer bullocks on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. I mean, Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Kyrielation, Kyrielation, Kyrielation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Judeans, O Lord, condemned you, the life of all the death, the ones who crossed the Red Sea through the power of the staff, nailed you to a cross, and those whom you suckled with honey from the rock brought you well. But willingly you endured to free us from the bondage of the enemy of Christ our God. Glory to you. Now and ever into the ages of ages. I mean, you are truly, you are the true vine, O Theotokos, who bore the fruit of life. We implore you together with the apostles to intercede for mercy to be shed on our souls. Amen. <laughs> El 
ερχόμενος επί σταυρούμ ούτως ευώς Κύριε διό ποιον έργον θέλετε με σταυρούσε οι ουδέοι ότι τους παραεί τους ημών συνέσπιξαν ότι τους νεκρούς εξύπνουν, εξανέστησαν. Εμόρουν οι ασάνιν, ανανέαν, ηλέησαν. Δια ποιον έργον θέλετε με φωνέ, Ισον είναι και να τε Χριστόν παρανομή. For I am ready to be scourged, O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath. The reading was from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are taught that I may know how to sustain with this, a word him that is weary. Morning by morning he wakes. He wakens my ear to hear those who are taught. The, the Lord God has opened my ear and I, will not be, and, I, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to the smitters and my cheek to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been <laughs> confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare my, me guilty? Behold, all of them will wear out like a garment. The moths will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the voice of his servant? Who walks in darkness and has no light, yet trusts in the name of the Lord and relies upon his God? Behold, all you who kindle a fire, who set brands alight, walk by the light of your fire and by the brands which you have kindled. This shall you have from my hand. You shall lie down in, in torment. The reading is from St. Paul Epistle to the Romans. Let us be attentive, wisdom, let us be attentive. For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly, for sacredly, for a righteous man will on one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would never dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, much more than having now been justified by his blood. We shall be saved from wrath through him, for it, if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son. Much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his love. Peace be unto you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. The Holy Gospel reading is according to Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory, glory to, to thee, thee, O Lord, glory, glory to, to thee. thee. At that time the soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is the praetorium. And they called together the whole battalion, and they clothed him in a purple cloak. And played in a crown of thorns, they put it on him. And they began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck his head with the reed and spat upon him, and they knelt down in homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. And they compelled the passerby Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, 
the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. And they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mingled with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide which each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha, you who destroy the temple and build it in three days. Save yourself and come down from the cross. So also the chief priests mocked him to one another with the scribes saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also reviled him. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, Labazafani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he is calling in Elijah. And one ran and folding a sponge full of vinegar, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that he thus breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from afar, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James the Younger and of Joseph and Salome, who when he was in Galilee followed him and ministered to him. And also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. Glory to your forbearance, O Lord, glory to you. The Lord God is blessed. Blessed be the Lord day after day. May the God who saves lead us on our salvation. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Ayus Atheos, Ayus Ischiros, Ayus Athanatos, Aleus Onimas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your namesake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary beheld him on the wood, and said, even through Though you endure crucifixion, you are my son and my God. Kyrielation, 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 Kyrielation. O empathiki roki pasi ora nura noki pekis proskidumenos Christos os teos. O makrothimos o polieleos o polies praknos o tus dikios agapon. Kedus amartolus eleon o pandas kalon prosotirian di sepangilias ton melon o nagathon. Αυτός, Κύριε, πρόσδεξε και ημών εν τη ώρα ταύτη, τα σεντέξεις και ήθυνον την ζωήν ημών προς τα σεντολά σου, τα ψυχάς ημών Αγίας των ασώματα άγνησον, τους ζωγισμούς διόρθωσον, τα σενίας κάθαρον και ρίσε ημάς από πάσης λήψεως κακών και οδύνης. Τύχησον ημάς, Αγίου σου, Αγγέλης, είναι την παρεμβολήν αυτών φρουρούμενη και οδηγούμενη, καταντήσομενη στην ενότητα της πίστεως και στην επίγνωση της απροσίτου σου δόξης, ότι ευλογητός εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι, και νυν και αίκη στους αιώνας των αιώνα μην, τη τιμιωτέρα των χεροβήμ και δοξατέρα να συγκρίτω στο σεραφήμ, την εδιαφθόρος Θεόν λογοτεκούστα την όντως Θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνω μεν. Εν ονόματι, Κύριε Ευλόγησον, Πάτε. Ο Θεός συγκτηρήσε ημάς και ευλογήσε ημάς, επεφάνει το πρόσμονο αυτού εφημάς και ελεήσε ημάς. Δέσποτα Θε, Πάτε Πανοκράτορ, Κύριε Ιέμονο Γενένση, Ιησού Χριστέ και Άγιον Πνεύμα, μία Θεότης, μία δύναμη, σε λέησό με τον αμαρτωλόν και εις επίσταση κρίμασης όσο με τον ανάξιον δούλον Σου. 
ότι ευλογητός εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Aios ο Θεός, Aios ο Σχυρός, Aios ο Θάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your namesake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and bow down to God our King. O come, let us <coughs> worship and bow to Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ himself, our King and God. Save me, O God, by your name. Save me and vindicate me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ears to my word and my, uh, the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me and oppressed. oppressors have sought after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. He will repay my enemies for their evil. Cut them off from the truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good, for he has delivered me out of trouble, and my eyes have seen its desire upon my enemies. Deliver me, deliver me, O God, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their hearts. They continually gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like a serpent. The poison of asps is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent men who have pers who have purposed to make my steps stumble. The proud have hidden a snare for me, and cords they have spread a net by the way wayside. They have set traps for me. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of, of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desire of the wicked. Do not further his wicked scheme, lest they be exalted. As for the head of those who surrounded me, let the, let the evil of their lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into fire, into, the, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not a, sland, a, a slanderer be established on the earth. Let, the, let evil hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted, and justice for the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you nor shall any plague come near you, your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all his ways. In your hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall, treat upon, you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my, my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Kirileison, 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 Kirileison. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ our God, you have worked salvation in the midst of the earth. You stretched out your pure hands on the cross, gathering together all the nations as they cry out, O Lord, glory to you. Now and ever into the ages of ages, I mean, having no boldness in the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, implore him who was born of you, for the prayer of a mother avails much in gaining the favor of, of the master. Do not overlook the entreaties of sinners, O all pure one, for he who condescended to suffer for us is merciful and able to save. They gave me vinegar to drink. You lawgivers of Israel, Judeans and Pharisees, the company of the apostles cries out to you. Behold the temple that you have destroyed. Behold the lamb that you have crucified. You gave him over to the tomb, but of his own power he arose. Do not be deceived, for it is he who saved you in the sea and fed you in the wilderness. He is the life, the light, and peace of the world. Doxa Patrike, Oike, Agio, Pneumati, Kenike, Aike, Istus Eonas, Ton Eononamin, Vefte Christophori lai katidomen tisine vulevsato o iudas o prodotis sinierevsin anomis 
Kieta kata tu soti rosimon simeron enokon thanatum ton thanaton ogon pepikan ke pilato prodondes En do pokranio esta brosan que tafta pasho nevo o sotirimon legon alfes aftis pater. Tina Marti Antaftin, O Poznosin Taetnin, Tinek Necron Mu Anastasin, is your name in the earth in all the earth for your majesty has been exalted above the heavens wisdom the reading is from the prophecy of isaiah let us be attentive behold my servant shall understand he shall be exalted and lifted up and shall be very high as many were astonished at him his appearance was so marred beyond human resemblance and his form beyond that of the sons of men so shall he startle many nations Kings shall shut their mouths because of him, for that which has not been told them they shall see, and that which they have not heard they shall understand. Who has believed what we have heard, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or comeliness that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was deprived and was rejected by most men, a man of sorrows and acquainted, and acquainted with grief. And as one with whom men hid their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has bore our grief and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him, stric yes, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him who was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed. All we, all we like sheep have gone astray and have turned away, turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shears is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, and as for his generation who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken, uh, stricken for the transgressors of my people. And they made his grave with the wicked and with the rich man in his death, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his day. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the fruit of the travail of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will divide him a portion of the great with the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the strong. Because he poured out his soul to death, and was numbered with the transgressors, yet he bore the sin of many and made intercessions for the transgressors. Sing, O barren, who did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not been in travail. For the children of the desolate one will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Brethren, both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he 
is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare your name to my brethren in the midst of the assembly. I will sing praise to you, and again I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Inasmuch as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the shame that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed, he does not give aid to the angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things, he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and high priest in, all, in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, He's able to aid those who are tempted. Peace be unto you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Sophia, orthia, kusumen tu agiu evangelio, irini pansi. Que to pneumati su. Cata luca, agiu evangelio, tu anagnos ma proskumen. Doxa si kiri, doxa si. To kero e kino i gondon sin to isu, ke eteri dio kakurgi sin afto anarethine. Και ότε απήλθον επί των τόπων των καλούμενων κρανίων, εκεί εσταύρωσαν αυτόν και τους κακούργους, ον μεν εκ δεξιών, ον δε εξ αριστερών. Ο δε Ιησούς έλεγε, «Πάτερ, άφες αυτής, ου γαρίδασι τι ποιούσι». Διαμεριζόμενοι δε τα ημάτια αυτού έβαλον κλήρων, και εις θήκει ο λαός θεωρών. Εξεμικτήριζον δε και οι άρχοντες συναυτής λέγοντες, «Άλλους έσωσες ως άτο εαυτόν, ή ούτως εστίν ο Χριστός ο του Θεού εκλεκτός». Εν έπαιζον δε αυτό και οι στρατιώτε προσερχόμενοι και όξως προσφέροντας αυτό και λέγοντες, «Ισύ ή ο βασιλεύς των Ιουδαίων σώσον σε αυτόν». Ήν δε και η επιγραφή και γραμμένη από αυτό γράμμα συν ελληνικής και ρωμαϊκής και εβραϊκής, ούτως εστίν ο βασιλεύς των Ιουδαίων. Ίς δε των κρεμασθένων κακούργων ευλασφήμοι αυτών λέγον, «Ης ή ο Χριστός σώσον σε Αυτόν και ημάς». Αποκριθείς δε ο έτερος επετήμα αυτό λέγον, «Ουδέ φοβήσει τον Θεόν, ότι εν το αυτό κρίματι ή, και ημείς μεν δικαίως άξια γάρον επράξεμεν απολαμβάνομεν, ούτως δε ουδέν άτοπον έπραξε». Και έλεγε το Ιησού, νηστητή μου Κύριε, όταν έλθεις εν τη βασιλεία σου. Και είπεν αυτό ο Ιησούς, αμήν λέγωσι, σήμερον με το εμού έσυ εν το παραδείσο. Ήν δε ως η ώρα έκτη και σκότωσε γένετο, εφόλην την γη νέος ώρας ενάλτης, του ηλίου εκλείποντος, και εσχίστη το καταπέτασμα του ναού μέσον, και φωνή σα φωνή μεγάλη, ο Ιησούς είπε, «Πάτερ, εις χείρα σου παρατήθε με το πνεύμα μου, και τα αυτά υπόν εξέπνευσε». Ιδών δε ο κατόνταρχος των γενόμενων εδόξεσε τον Θεό λέγον, «Όντως ο άνθρωπος ούτως δίκαιος ειν». Και πάντες εις οι παραγενόμενοι όχλοι επί την θεωρία τα αυτήν, θεωρούντας τα γενόμενα τύπτονται σε αυτόν τα στήθη υπέστρεφον. Εις τίκησαν δε πάντες οι γνωστοί αυτού που μακρόθεν και γυναίκες σε συνακολουθήσα σε αυτό από της Γαλιλαίας. Ορώσε τα αυτά. Δόξα τη μακροθυμία σου, Κύριε, δόξα εσύ. Swiftly let your tender mercies come upon us, O Lord, for we are greatly impover impoverished. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your, of your name. Lord, deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Ayos a Theos, Ayos Ischiros, Ayos a Thanatos, Eleis Onimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. May us forgive our iniquities. 
O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your namesake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us, for Mary held him on the wood and said, Even though you endure crucifixion, you are my son and my God. Kyrielation, 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 the one who at all times, at every hour, both in heaven and earth, is worshiped and glorified. O Christ our God, long suffering, plenteous, in mercy, and full of compassion who loves the righteous and is merciful to sinners, calling all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, accept our supplications in this present hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our, our bodies, set our right, our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and distress. Surround us with ho your holy angels that guided and guarded by their interposition we may attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Kyrielation, 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 Doxa Patrike, Yoke, Yopanevma, Dikirinke, Eki, Susona, Stoneon, Amen. Kidimio Teron, the Kirovim, Kedoxa Teron, a Sincritus, the Seraphim, Tinadi of Thoros, the Onoga de Cus, and Tinondos, the Tokon, Semegalinumen. And on Oma, the Kirievno, Gison Pat. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his May he shine his face upon us and be, mer be merciful to us. O God and Lord of hosts, author of all creation, who out of the depths of your ineffable mercy sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross tore up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the principles and powers of darkness. Accept also, a loving Master, the fervent thanksgiving prayers of us sinners. Deliver us from every evil and dark transgression and from all visible and invisible enemies. You seek to do us harm. Transfix our bodies in the fear of you and incline not our hearts to evil words or thoughts, but pierce our souls with desire for you, that always looking up to you, we may be guided by your light and beholding you the ineffable and everlasting light. We may offer unceasing praise and thanksgiving to the Father who is no beginning, together with your only begotten Son and your all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Ayus of Theos, Ayus of Skiros, Ayus of Thanatos, Eleis Onimas. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. O holy one, visit and and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from for evil. thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. I mean, O come, let us worship and bow down to God, our King. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ himself, our King and God. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I have come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty who would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully. Though I have stolen nothing, I, must, I still must restore it. O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you, O oh Lord, God of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek, who seek you be confounded because of me. O oh God of Israel, because of your sake, I have borne reproach. Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers and an alien to my mother's children. 
because zeal for your house has eaten me up and the reproaches of those who, re who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept and, chast and chastened my soul with fastening, that became my reproach. I also made sackcloth my garment. I became a byword to them. Those who sit in the gate speak against me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, in the acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of your mercy, hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood waters overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut, my, shut its mouth on me. Hear me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is good. Turn to me according to the multitude of your tender mercies, and do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw near to my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. You know my reproach, my shame, and my, dis my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I look for someone to take pity, but there, are, there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They also gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare for them, and their well-being a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see, and make their loins shake continually. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let your anger take hold of them. Let their dwelling place be desolate. Let no one live in their tents. For they persecute the ones you have struck and talk of the grief of those you have wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, be set up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or a bull which has horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad, and you who seek God, your hearts shall live. For the Lord hears the poor and does not despise the pris his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves them. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, of Judah, that they will dwell there and possess it. Also the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Make haste to God to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded who seek my life. Let them be turned back and confounded who desire my hurt. Let them be turned back because of their shame who say, aha, aha. Let all those who seek you, re seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say continually, let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste, O God, for, O Lord, do not delay. Hold down your ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am holy. You are my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Rejoice the soul of your servant, for you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, I are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy. To all those who call upon you, give ear, O Lord, my, to my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, nor there are any works like your works. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name, for you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy toward me, and you have delivered my soul from the depths of, of uh, Sheol. O God, the proud have risen against me, and a mob of violent men have sought my life and have not sent you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. O turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your maiden servant. Show me a sign of for, for good that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. 
Δόξα πατρίο και ο και πνεύματι και νυν και εκεί στου αιώνα των αιώνα μην. Αλληλούια, 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 glory to your God. Αλληλούια, 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 glory to your God. Αλληλούια, 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 glory to your God. Κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον. Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. When the thief beheld the author of life hanging on the cross, he said, If he who was crucified with us was not God incarnate, the sun would have not hidden its rays. Neither would the earth have quaked with trembling, but all forbearing Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Now and ever into the ages of ages, I mean, you who were born for us of a virgin and suffered crucifixion, O gracious one, who despoiled death by death, and as God revealed resurrection, overlook not those who you have created with your own hand. Show forth your love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept your birth giver, the Theotokos, interceding for us, and save the despairing people, O our Savior. against them, and upon my vestures they cast lots. When the lawless nailed you, the glory of God to the cross, you cried out to them, in what have I grieved you? before me that delivered you from affliction and now you have repaid me in evil instead of blessings instead of the pillar of fire you nailed me to the cross instead of the cloud you dug for me a grave instead of water you gave vinegar to drink henceforth I will call the Gentiles and they will glorify me together with the Father and the Holy Spirit Σήμερον κρεμάτε 
επιξύνουν πονίδωση την γη κρεμάσας. Στέφανον εξαγκαθών περιτίθετε ο των αγγέλων βασιλεύς. Ψεύδι πορφύραν περιβάλλετε ο περιβάλλον των ουρανών ενεφέλες. Ράπισμα κατεδέξατον ο ενιορδάνη ελευθερώσα στον Αδάμ. Ήλιος προσιλώθη ο νηφίος της Εκκλησίας, λόγια και αντίθη ο Υιός της Παρθένου, προσκυνούμε σου τα πάθη Χριστέ, προσκυνούμε σου τα πάθη Χριστέ, προσκυνούμε σου τα πάθη Χριστέ, δείξον ημίν και την έδοξον σου Ανάσταση. said in his heart. Oh, man. 
has said in his heart, there is no God. There is none that does good, not even one. The reading is from the prophecy of Jeremiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The Lord made it known to me, and I knew. Then you showed me their evil deeds, but I was like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. I did not know it was against me that they desired evil schemes, saying, let us destroy the, tru the fruit let us destroy the tree of its fruit and cut him off from the hand of the living and his name be remembered no more. But O Lord of hosts, who judges righteously, who tries the heart and the mind, let us see your vengeance upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the men of Anathal, who seek your life and say, do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, or you will die by your own hand. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by their sword. Their sons and daughters shall die by famine, and none of them shall be left. For I will bring evil on the men of An An Anathoth, the year of their punishment. You indeed, O Lord, are just. When I complain to you, yet I would plead my case before you. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all who are treacherous thrive? You planted them and they take root. They go and bring forth fruit. You are near to their mouth and far from their heart. But you, O oh Lord, show me. You see me and try my heart toward you. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn and the grass of every field wither? For the wickedness of those who dwell in it, the beasts and the birds are swept away because of men, because men said, he will see not our latter end. Go assemble all the wild beasts, bring them to devour. Many shepherds have destroyed my, my vineyard, and they have trampled down my portions. They have made my pleasure portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it a desolation. Desolate, it mourns me. The whole land is desolate, but no man's lay it to heart. Thus says the Lord concerning all my evil neighbors who touch the heritage I have given my people of Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out from the land and I will pluck up their, houses, their house of Judah from among them. And after I have plucked them up, I will give, I will again have compassion on them and I will bring them each to his heritage and each to his land. The reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive, wisdom. Let us be attentive. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest of the blood of Jesus by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another for so much the more as you see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully, having received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice of sins, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which will devour the adversaries. Anyone who has rejected Moses' law dies without mercy on the testimony of two of, or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will be Will he be thought worthy that has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified, a common thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And again the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Peace be unto you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel reading is according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory, glory to, to thee, O Lord, glory, glory to thee. thee. 
At that time, when the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and made four parts, one for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did this, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing there, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A bowl of vinegar stood there, so they put a sponge full of the vinegar on Isop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Since it was a day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining, remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with them. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it is born witness. His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth, that you also may believe. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not a bone of him shall be broken. And again another scripture says, They shall look on him who they have pierced. Glory to your forbearance, O Lord, glory to you. Do not forsake us utterly for your holy name's sake, and do not annul your covenant. Take not away your mercies from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, and Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. I mean, all holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. May us forgive our iniquities. All holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kirileson, Kirileson, Kirileson. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. I mean, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us for from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary beheld him on the wood and said, even though you endured the cross, you are my son and my God. Kirileson, 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 Kirileson. The one who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, is worshiped and glorified, O Christ our God, long suffering, plenteous in mercy and full of compassion, who loves the righteous and is merciful to sinners, calling all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. Accept our supplication in this present hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aside our minds, cleanse our thoughts and deliver us from all affliction, evil and distress. Surround us with your holy angels that guided and guarded by their interposition. We may attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Kirileson, Kirileson, Kirileson. Kirileson, Kirileson, Kirileson. Kirileson, Kirileson, Kirileson. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and incomparably more glorious than the seraphim, 
who without defilement bore God the word, verily the Theotokos, you we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and be merciful to us. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, forbearing with our faults and having brought us even to the present hour. <coughs> in which hanging on the life-giving cross you prepared the way for the grateful thief to enter paradise. And by death, destroy death, have mercy on us, your sinful and unworthy servants. For we have sinned and have transgressed and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and look toward the heights of heaven. For we have departed from the path of your righteousness and have followed the desires of our own hearts. But we implore you, your infinite goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of your mercies. And save us for the sake of your holy name, for our days have been wasted, consumed in vanity. Rest us from the hand of the adversary, forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal thoughts. Get that casting off the old man, we may be clothed with the new, and so live for you, our master and guardian. And thus following your ordinances, we may attain to eternal rest in the abode of all those who rejoice. For you are in verity the true joy and exaltation of those who love you, O Christ our God, and to you we ascribe glory together with your Father, who is without beginning, your all holy, good life, giving spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peace, peacemakers, for, the, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revive you, revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnated by the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, rising on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascending into the heavens, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and coming again with glory to judge the living and the dead, his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I accept one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. Amen. Pardon, remit, and forgive, O Lord, our intentional and unintentional faults by word or deed, wittingly or unwittingly, those by night and those by day, those of the mind and those of the senses, and forgive us all, for you are good and the loving Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Τον δίμας τα βροθένα δεύτε πάντα συμνήσουμεν αυτόν γαρκατί δε Μαρία επί του ξύλου και έλεγεν ή και σταυρό υπομένεις σι υπάρχεις ο Υιός και Θεός μου. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, ή το όνομα Κύριο ευλογημένο από τον ίν και έως του αιώνος. Ή το όνομα Κύριο ευλογημένο από τον ίν και έως του αιώνος. Ή το όνομα Κύριο ευλογημένο από τον ίν και έως του αιώνος. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall be make its boast in the Lord. The, the humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. 
there is no want in those, to those who fear him. The young lion lacks and suffers hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may seek good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off their, res their remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them from their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflicted and the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil, evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Glory to your God, of hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who endured spittings and scourgings and buffetings, the cross and death for our salvation, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honored bodiless powers in heaven, the supplications of the honored glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs of our holy righteous and God-bearing fathers who shone forth in the ascetic life of the holy righteous ancestors of God, joy, keep and on, and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving and merciful God. Via fronton e gion patero ni mor, chi di eisu Christe o Theos, eleison ke sosoni mans through the prayers of our Holy Father. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the cross of Christ be a strength for us, a source of strength and inspiration for us on this day of solitude, on this day of silence and reflection as we repent for our sins and offer glory to God for him uh, going to the cross and dying for us. In just a few moments at 10 a.m., we will begin the Apocathilosi service, the unnailing service. Uh, this is, of course, the service um, of Vespers, which prepares us for tomorrow's uh, day. Uh, but specifically, this service is when we remove Christ from the cross and we do, at the end, towards the end of the service, we process the body of Christ uh, around the church and place it into this, the Govulkio. God be with you and protect you on this day.
Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών, πάντοτε νυν και αή, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. O come, let us worship and bow down to our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ himself, our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, covering yourself with light as with a garment. You stretched out the heavens like a curtain. You set the beams of your upper chambers in waters. Who makes the clouds his chariot? Who walks on the wings of the wind? Who makes his angels spirits and his, man of, and his ministers a flame of fire? You laid the foundation of the earth so that it should be moved forever. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the voice of your thunder they hastened away. You have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions, this great wide sea in which are innumerable teeming things, living things, both small and great. They went up over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place which you founded for them. You have been a, you have been a boundary that they may not pass over, that they may not return to cover the earth. He sends the spring into the valleys. They flow among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkey quenches their thirst. By them, the birds of the heavens have their home. They sing among the branches. He waters the hills from the upper chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetation for the service of man, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes glad the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread which strengthens his heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap and cedars of Lebanon, which he planted, where the birds make their nests. The stork has her home in the fir tree. The high hills are for the wild goats. The cliffs are a refuge for rock badgers. He, appoints the moon, he appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness and it is night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar after their prey, their, their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his works and to his labor until evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions, the great and wide sea in which are innumerable teeming things, living things both small and great. There are ships, there the ships sail about. There is that Le Leviathan which you have made to play there. These all wait for you, that you may give them their food in due season. What you give them, they gather in. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away your breath, they die and return to the dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the, the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth, and it trembles. He touches the hills, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad to the Lord. You have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions, the great wide sea in which are innumerable teeming things, living things both small and great. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness in his night in which all the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar after their prey. Their prey. 
they seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom may sinners be consumed from the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness and it is night. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Σαν οθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών, κυρίω δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο, Πέτ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη των πάντων ενών σεών του κυρίω δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο, Holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For all pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Nathaniel, for the venerable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ. And for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Υπέρ της πόλεως ταύτης, πάσης πόλεως χώρας, και τον πίστηκον τον εναυτές του Κυρίου δεϊθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο. Υπέρ ευκρασίας αέρων εφορίας των καρπών της γης και καιρών ειρηνικών, του Κυρίου δεϊθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο. Υπέρ πλεόν των οδηπορούντων, όσουν των καμνών των εχμαλώτων, και τη σωτηρία αυτών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Κύριε Λέησο. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another. And our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For to you all glory, honor, and worship are due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you,
Παρατηρήσεις κυρία κύριε, τη συμποστήσετε ότι παρασύ ο ηλασμός έστι πάσα ηκτής της ηλίου το φόβο θεωρούσαστε εν σταυρό κρεμάμενο till night from the morning watches let Israel hope in the Lord an impious and lawless people why do they contrive in vain why did they condemn to death the life of all oh wondrous marvel that the creator of the world is delivered into the hands of the lawless and the lover of mankind is lifted up on the cross that he might bring freedom to those Bound in Hades who cried out, O long suffering Lord, glory to you. Ping, Oldi Barato Kirio, Tueleos, Kipoli Barafto Litrosis, Kaftos Litros, the Don Israel, Ekpason, Ton Anomion Afto. Σήμερον σε θεωρούσαν οι άμπεδος παρθένος εν σταυρολόγε αναρτωμένον οδυρωμένοι μητρώσας πλάκνα Ετέτρο την καρδία πικρός και στεναζούσα ο δίνη ρος εκ βάθους φύκης. Πάει ασυναθρίξα τα ξένου σαν κατερτήχετον 
from the dead on the third day. Ότι εγκρατεώθη το έλεος αυτού εφημάς και αλήθεια του Κυρίου μένει στον αιώνα. Σήμερον ο δεσπότης της της αιώσης παρίστατε πιλάτων και σταυρό παραδίδωτε ο κτίστης των απάντων. Ως αμνός προσαγόμενος στη διαβούληση της ύλης προσεπίγνητε και την πλευράν και δάτε και το σφόγγο προσπάβετε ο μάνα εμπομβρίσας τα σιακόνας ραπίζετε όλοι τροτείς του κόσμου και υπό των ιδίων δούλων Εμπέζετε ο πλάστη των απάντων. Ο δεσπότου φιλανθρωπία υπέρ των σταυρούντων παρεκάλλει τον ιδίων πατέρα λέγον άφες αυτής την αμαρτία τ' αυτήν ουγαρίδα συνειάνομη τη αδίκως πράτουσι. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Sana mi 
σοπλαστής ξύλο κατακρίνεται ο κρίνος ζώντας και νεκρούς τα φορκατακλείεται ο καθερέτης του άδου ο πάντα φέρον συμβάθος και πάντας σώσας της άρας ανακήξηκα και κυρία δόξα Σοφία, ορθία, πονσιλάρον, αγίας δόξης, αθανά. They parted my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. The reading is from the book of Exodus. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus the Lord spoke, used to speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. When Moses turned into the camp, his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, did not depart from the tent. Moses said to the Lord, See, you say to bring up the people, but you have not let me know whom you will send me. You have said that I know you by name, and you have found favor in my sight. Now, therefore, I pray you, if I have found favor in your sight, show me now your ways, that I may know you and find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And Moses said to him, 
If your presence will not go with me, do not carry us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Is it not in your, is it not in your going with us so that we are distinct, I and your people, from all the other people that are upon the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, this, is, this very thing that you have spoken I will do, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, I pray you, show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and proclaim before you my name, the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But he said, you cannot see my face, for man shall not see me and live. And the Lord said, behold, there is a place by me where you shall stand upon a rock. And while the glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. The Lord judge those who wrong me, they reward me evil for good. Wisdom. The reading is from the book of Job. Let us be attentive. And the Lord blessed the, the latter days of Job more than his beginning, and he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a 1,000 yoke of oxen, and a 1,000 sheep donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters, and he called the name of the first Jeremiah, and the name of the second Isaiah, and the name of the third Karen Hapuj. And in all the land there were no women so fair as Job's daughters, as their father gave them inheritance among their brothers. And after this, Job lived 170 years. In total, he lived 240 years and saw his sons of his sons' sons, even four generations. And Job died an old man and full of days. O oh Lord, our Lord, how marvelous is your name in all the earth, for your majesty is exalted above the heavens. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Behold, my servant shall understand, he shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. As many were astonished at him, his appearance was so marred beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of the sons of men. So shall he startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouth because of him, for that which has not been told them, they shall see, and that which they have not heard, they shall understand. Who has believed that we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground, he had no form or comeliness that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and was rejected by most men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him who was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, and as for his generation, who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people? And they made his grave with the wicked and with the rich man in his death, although he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to bruise him, he has put him to grief. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the fruit of the travail of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous on my servant make my many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors, Yet he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Sing, O barren, who did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not been in travail, for the children of the desolate one will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. 
They have laid me in a low pit in the dark places in the shadow of death. O Lord, the God of my salvation, I have cried out to you day and night. Let us be attentive. The reading is from the first epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. Wisdom, let us be attentive. For the, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of, his, of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. For Jews request a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified to the Jews, a stumbling block and to the Greeks foolishness. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put shame to wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put shame to things that are mighty, and the base things of the world and the things which are despised by God has chosen. And the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom of God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that as it is written. He who glories, let, the, let him glory in the Lord. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom declaring to you the testimony of God, for I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Peace be unto you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all and with your, your spirit. The Holy Gospel reading is according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory, glory to, to thee, O Lord, Lord, glory to thee. At that time, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pilate the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that he was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They said, what is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priest, taking the pieces of silver, said, it is not lawful to put them into the treasury since they are blood money. So they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him on whom a price had been sent by some of the sons of Israel, and they gave them for the potter's field as the Lord directed me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. For when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor wondered greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? 
for he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, when, while he was sitting in the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, have nothing to do with their righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? They all said, let him be crucified. And he said, why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him and played in a crown of thorns. They put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat upon him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his clothes, his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means a place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers who were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left, one of the criminals who were hanged, railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward for our deeds. But this man, has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, he saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now. If he desires him, for he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, this man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge filled with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice, he yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. 
since it was the day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for that was Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with them. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it is borne witness, his testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth, that you also may believe. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not a bone of him shall be broken. And again another scripture says, they shall look on him whom they have pierced. There were also many women there looking on from afar who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had wound in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and departed. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there. Sitting opposite the sun.
Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for Archbishop Nathaniel and for all the brotherhood in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection. Forgiveness and the remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians, those who reside and visit in this city, the stewards, council members, and every ministry of this parish, for the contributors and benefactors of this holy church, and for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, and for our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists. Again, let us pray for the blessed memory and eternal rest of the founders of this holy church and for all our Orthodox fathers and brethren who piously lie here and everywhere. Again, let us pray for those who bring fruits of the earth and for those who do good works in this holy and sacred church, for those who serve and sing in it, and for those here present who anticipate your great and plenteous mercy. For you are a God of mercy, love, and compassion, and to you we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the of ages. I mean, grant, O Lord, that we may be kept this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and your name is praised and glorified through all the ages. I mean, Lord, let your mercy come upon us, for we have trusted in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, grant me understanding of your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not overlook the works of your hands. Praise, worship, and glory is befitting to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let us complete our evening supplication to the Lord. Αντιλάβους όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχαρητής. That this whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial unto our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord, Grant this, o Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord, Grant this, o Lord that the Christmas that the end of our lives may be Christian without pain, blameless and peaceful. 
and for a good account at the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us serve. Grant this, O Lord. This Panagia Sacrand, Sacrand, Christon to Theo Parathometa. Say, Kyrie. What the Agathons, Kephilanthropons, Theon Siparchis, Kessiti Doxan, and Apepomen, to Patrick, and to Io, and to Aegio Pnevmantin, in Kei. Kings to Seon as to Neono. Amen. Que to brev matisu. As que falan Simon to kiri o klino me. Si kiri. inheritance for it is to you the awesome and merciful judge that they have bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks expecting not the help from men but your mercy and anticipating salvation from you protect them at all times both during this present evening and the oncoming night from every adversary and every operation of the power of the devil and also from vain thoughts and evil imaginations may the dominion of your kingdom be blessed and glorified of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O te Gates were 
shattered, the graves were open, and the dead arose. Then Adam gratefully rejoicing, cried out to you, glory to your condensation, O merciful God. Και γόρες τρίους εντυνικουμένην, ή της ούς αλευθίσετε, ότε εν το τόφος αρχικός, Θέλον σύ να εκκλείστη σοφίση τη της Θεότητος μένων απεριγραπτός και αδιορίστος τα θανάτου απεκλείσας τα μία και αδού Απάντα εκείνος σας, Χριστέ Βασιλεία, τότε και το Σάββατον τούτο, Θείας ευλογίας και δόξης, και της εις λαμπρότητος ηξιώσας. Holiness becomes your house, O Lord, forever. When the heavenly powers saw you, O Christ, falsely slandered by the lawless as deceiver, and the stone of the tomb sealed by the hands of those who pierced your sacred side. They shrouded at your ineffable forbearance, yet rejoicing for our salvation. They cry out to you, glory to your condensation, O merciful Oh, no.
Πολύ στον δωρό σου δάσποτα κατά το ρήμα σου εν ειρήνη, ότι είδον οι οφθαλμοί με το σωτηριόν σου. Ο ετοίμα σα κατά πρόσωπο πάντων των λαών, φω τη αποκάλυψη εν εθνών και δόξα λαού σου Ισραήλ. Άγιο ο Θεό, αίσθη χειρό, αίσθη θάνατο λε στον ημά. Άγιο ο Θεό, αίσθη χειρό, αίσθη θάνατο λε στον ημά. Δόξα πατρί και ο και ο πνεύματι και νυν και έχει στου αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Ευσχήμονη, ο σύγχμα που τον ξύλο καθελών, το άγχραντο σου σώμα, Συνδόνι καθαρά ηλίσας και αρώμασιν εμνήματι κενό κινδέξας απέφετο. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι και νυν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Πες μυροφόρης γίνε εξύ παρά το μνήμα επίστας ο Άγγελος Ευώα, τα μοίρα της θνητής υπάρχει αρμόδια, Χριστός δε δια φθοράς, εδείχθη αλώτριον. Wisdom, Λόγισο, the one who is blessed, Christ our God, always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, O hope, glory to you, the one who for us men and for our salvation endure the awful passion of the cross and condescend into the voluntarily entombment in the flesh, Christ our true God. Through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honored bodiless powers in heaven, the supplications of the honored glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, the heart saintly and God-bearing fathers should shone forth in the ascetic life of the holy righteous, divine ancestors, Joy Kimanana, and of all the saints have mercy on us to save us as a good God who loves mankind. Amen. 
Eleison kesosoniman, so the prayers of our Holy Fathers. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect and guide you all. We just completed the hours that we started, the great hours this morning, and now we had the Apocathilusi service, the unnailing of the cross. And not only did the cross come down, uh, Christ came down from the cross, but we also processed his body around the church. We placed it into this Guvukion, which now for us today is the tomb of Christ. And this evening, God willing, at 7 p.m., we will begin the Orthros for tomorrow morning, which is the, as we call the Epitaphios Trinos. And there we sing with the Lamentations, and we hope you all can join us, even from your homes. There's an interesting cartoon that's circulating on social media, and it's the, the devil speaking with an angel. And the devil is saying, uh, I uh, was successful in closing all the churches. But then the angel responded and said, you may have been successful in that, but we opened a lot more churches in every home. And I found this to be profound um, because I believe that, and from what I'm hearing, so many of you are making your homes a church, and this is the true essence of a home. It's the first church, it's the first school for our children, it's a place, a safe haven for us from the snares of this world that are thrown at us, and every home should be just like a church. So we are given this opportunity now to press the reset button in our lives during this crisis so that we can remind ourselves what's most important and certainly not take things for granted in our lives. God willing, we will be together again at 7 p.m. this evening. Otheos mazisas, kalia nasisi.